It's be by nature, powerwithnature.com, and we are moving right along in the 13 Days of Intentional Creating series, a book that you must go and pick up. Um, the link is definitely in the description. Just click on it and hop over there and add this book to your collection. It is a must-have. It is a journaling workbook in which we work with different concepts each day and with that concept you have the teaching on one side and then you are able to do the practice on journal entry on the other side I'm holding this with one hand but as you can see <laughs> so we are moving into day six a great day a great day a great day also to keep in mind as I mentioned in the workbook once you see it in the beginning um, yes, you can work with it each and every day. That would be the ideal way. That way you can just stick with the concept and just kind of keep it on mind, work with the energy and just kind of keep your focus in one place. Because remember, focus is everything. Focus is what brings what it is um, you are desiring to life. Without focus, there's no energy into it. And uh, trust me, I know focus is something that's very, very important. So we are just doing the series. You can go back through them um, and just take each day at a time and just work with each day and actually really take the practices and really do the exercises that are in the book. So day six is say it, believe it, receive it. Oh, that is an awesome, awesome, awesome concept to look at. It is really, 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 really an awesome concept. And it is what can be considered the formula for active manifesting. Ooh, saying it or writing it, believing it, that it is so, and receive it, exactly what you desire. That is exactly what say it, believe it, receive it is broken down. And um, I go on to say that without belief in what you are asking for, then what would be the point of asking in the first place? <laughs> like really, truly, truly, what would be the point? You're asking because on some level you believe that it is so. So this is the whole point. Um, if we go back and look at the religious concept of prayer, well, you're praying because you believe on some subconscious level that your prayer will be answered. That somehow what it is that you're looking for, what you're seeking, what you're needing will indeed occur and will happen for you. So that is your whole point of prayer in the in, to begin with. You're not just doing it and don't have any idea or any clue that it's going to happen you really wholeheartedly believe so you may have some doubt but you still on the subconscious level believe that it is so so that is the same with our intentional creating process you believe it in some sort of way because really nothing is far-fetched i mean what is it that you're asking for you and unless you're just asking to go to the moon tomorrow okay you're not going to go to the moon. Just point blank, you're not going to get there. <laughs> but if it's something that is tangible on the physical plane of existence, you can have it. Like, it can, you can have it, and it also can very well happen for you and to you. So, when we sit and we are thinking of creating, we are definitely asking for something. We're definitely looking for something that we really, truly believe can happen for us on a physical level <laughs> in our reality so with this whole 13 days of intentional creating this is the back with my picture on it oh my gosh that's my picture that's an old picture but that was the best headshot picture that I have so far so it's um oh I lost what I was gonna say oh we talk about the purpose and the process of knowing and believing what it is that you're asking for shall be without knowing there is no power without knowing or believing what is the point you know it, it, there just is no point so knowing your power believing your power those are two of the most crucial points in the creating process and then also I want to um, before I end this video point out that I have been really learning and receiving a lot more information that goes on a whole lot deeper level 
um, when I speak of intentional creating or manifesting, that is really a surface level practice. This goes so much more deeper. And I am going to share it more on my channel. Just now I have to process it, go through it myself so that I can speak on it more. And it's just so deep. <laughs> It's which is why the two previous videos, I hope that you went back and you watched those, spoke about not romanticizing the process of manifesting because it's not just some old, I'm manifesting my reality, you know, it's not that. It's really an act of changing the subconscious mind and look at any e. B. Look, he's right there. Look at him, look at him, look, 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 look. He don't know he's on the camera. <laughs> look at him. What is he doing? Look at there he is. Hey, NEB. <laughs> and really doing the work on the subconscious level. And really, really, I'm really entertained by what he's doing back there. <laughs> and just really, really doing the work and making the changes that are needed within ourselves. So the information I've been receiving here lately is just, it's going to really transform the way that I teach the concept of manifesting and really going to transform the way that I present living naturally in tune with nature, just like any bees doing right now, probably back there talking to a little being or something it's so cute it's so cute you know and it's just really going to change it all and really going to bring more to light it, it's amazing I, I can't even really put it all into words right now i just hope you stay tuned check out video seven we're going to be working on video seven day seven i'll probably do that tomorrow if you haven't already go back and check the videos that I did before then so that you can catch up and I hope you stay tuned be right nature and NEB